NHL 16 is one of the best hockey simulations to date, especially on the current generation of consoles. And the best way to experience the game is to play against friends, or even complete strangers online. But we're here to warn you that everyone you find online may not be as competitive or as fair as you might be. Here are some of the characters you might come across when you get online with NHL 16. Types of NHL Video Game Players, brought to you by Hockey Tutorial. The Texter. This is the guy who pauses the game just to text back his girlfriend uh, about every 15 seconds or so. God forbid you go enjoy a video game, pal. The player that just blasts music through their microphone. If I wanted to listen to the game's soundtrack, I would mute you and just turn the TV louder. The eight-year-old kid. Why are you even playing this game? Where are your parents? Honey, dinner's ready. I'll be right down. I said come down for dinner. I said I'll be right down. It's a tie game. The pause guy. Uses up all his pauses as soon as the game starts because he <laughs> thinks it's going to get under your skin when really all it's going to do is annoy you and make you want to score faster. Now. Oh. The replay guy. No, it kind of falls in the same line as the pause guy, but this guy waits specifically for every major highlight just to go to the replay, just to rewatch it, tell you that he's rewatching it, just to drive you nuts a little bit. The commentary guy. This is the guy who has to commentate or do play by play for everything that happens on the ice. We're sorry that you would rather be in the booth with Doc Emerton playing a game with us. Will you just shut up already? Puck him down the right side. He looks up. He got. The fighter. The player that, no matter what the score, wants to drop the mitts. Whether it's after every face off, after every icing, after every puck clear. Always, constantly just mashing the Y button. The loop the loop guy. This is the guy who skates in large circles in the offensive zone, gets the defense to pursue, then somehow finds himself wide open in the slot for an easy shot. The one timer guy. We all know the move. You speed down the boards and you sauce it to the high slot for a one timer. Works every time. Boring! The defensive loop-de-loop -loop guy. Similar to the other loop-de-loop -loop guy, but this guy likes doing it on the penalty kill, and he just skates around in circles in his defensive zone, never letting you get a shot off. The chirper. The player who will talk trash even if you don't have your headset plugged in. Yep, 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 yep. Side, you stupid The rage quitter. An old standby for online games. Guy goes down 3 nothing in the first five minutes because he doesn't know how to play. Quit. Heck, sometimes he'll, as soon as he goes down one nothing, he will get out of there. Guy doesn't understand the concept of the comeback. Then again, he probably can't pull it off. That's why he quits. This one's new to NHL 16. The stick lifter. Much like the poke checker of years past, the stick lifter now is way too effective. Sure, once in a while you'll get a high sticking call, but most of the time the puck is just going to trickle harmlessly out of the zone after the guy lifts your stick for the hundredth time. The dangler. This guy is always trying the fanciest moves, whether in his defensive zone or on a breakaway, and this is the guy that will always score if they get a one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. If it's a shootout, you might as well just forget about it. So yeah, fancy shootout guy, a.k.a. Pavel Barber, we're talking to you. We're kind of sick of it. The shot blocker. This is the guy who has no concept of what defense is. He instead, if pursuing you or the puck in the defensive zone, would rather just lie down on the ice on the off chance that you pass or shoot it into his body. Then there's the hitter. Even if a simple poke check is the easy option, it doesn't matter. This guy wants to injure every player every chance he gets by skating like a freight train in a direct line. Easy to avoid, but boy is it a pain when he connects. The EA Sports Hockey League side, you got the greedy player. This is the guy who cares more about his plus minus than actually winning the game. Goalies. 
goalies have come a long way since last year, but they're still absolute Swiss cheese. The awful equipment guy. Dude, what are you thinking? Pink tape, tinted visors, crazy flow. What's the matter with you? Hey everyone, thanks for watching. What player types did we miss in this video? And which player types do you hate the most? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and share the video. And be sure to stay tuned for more great stuff coming your way from Hockey Tutorial. Uh, a few chosen people are pretty fortunate enough to do it. And I think there's a few ways to do that. I think everyone has their different paths and their own stories. But uh, I know for me, like I had to do uh, a lot more. Uh, I had to do some other things.